then I'm calling this the first lesson because you need to tune your guitar to make it sound okay but it is pretty tricky and it's not very exciting so uh, don't give up you'll get there in the end if you uh, get stuck send me an email get your teacher to send me an email and don't worry we'll work it out somehow right so the first thing you need to know to tune your guitar is the alphabet unfortunately it goes like this a b c d e f g and then in music it starts again a b c d e f g a b c and so on i'll tell you why you need to know that in a minute second thing you need to know is the names of the strings which i'm sure you all remember here's me playing the guitar this is probably my favorite guitar <laughs> Even with me playing it, it sounds lovely. Uh, the names of the strings are, starting from the thin one, the first one, E, B, G, D, A, and E. And I taught that to you by saying, Easter bunnies get drunk at Easter. E, B, G, D, A, E. Now, I used to find tuning the guitar really, really impossible. However, nowadays we have things to help you out. If you're lucky enough to have a little tuner that you clip on the end, that is fantastic and really helpful. It cost about uh, 10 quid, but I know 10 quid is hard to get at the moment. But if you haven't got one, don't worry, because you can do the same thing with a free app for your phone, which I'll show you in a second. Um, the one I've got on my phone is called G-String and it's free on Android phones, and it's pretty good. I'll show you how to use that in a minute. And there's also websites that you can get that use the same thing. So I'm gonna show you what will come up on the screen if you use the phone app, or if you do it on a computer, or if you use one of these little things. I'm gonna show you that now. <laughs> Now this is a really useful website for tuning your guitar because it uses the microphone on your laptop or on your phone or whatever to pick up the note that the guitar is playing. So I'm going to start with the thinnest string, uh, top E. It says tighten the string, so really gently make sure you tune the right, choose the right peg, turn it after you've hit it. Hit the string, twang it first, let it ring. There we go, correct. Uh, that's E string, Easter. B for bunny string, B. Tighten, so gently twang it, twang it, let it ring, and then gently turn it. Make sure you've got the right peg, otherwise you end up breaking the string like I did with Morgan's the other day. There we go. Next one is uh, the third string, the G. to know the names of the strings because I'm going to try the thick string now. The thick one is called E, as you know, Easter bunnies get drunk at Easter. But it's so far out of tune, the wrong note's shining. It thinks it's A. So this is where I need to know the alphabet. Does A come after E or before? E, F, G, A. I need to loosen it. It comes after. If you try and tune it to the next E up, you're going to snap your string. So here's thickest stream is the hardest to do that website is on ultimateguitar.com tuner it is really easy to do if you have got a microphone on your laptop or computer or whatever there's lots of websites like this if you haven't got a microphone on your guitar you can touch the string on the screen and it will play how it should sound. If your ears are good, you can tell if yours is too low or too high. The other one is easier because it tells you whether to 
tighten or loosen. Be really careful tightening, always twang the string first, turn it gently, because if you break your string, you're gonna be annoyed. That's another good way of doing it. This is how one of those clip-on tuners that I was showing you before, something like that, or the on or the free app tuner that you can get for your phone. This one's called G-Strings. How that how it will look when you're trying to tune. So here I am trying to do my thinnest string, first string E, Easter bunnies, Easter. If the little pointer is on the left, like it is now, means it's too low. If it goes to the right, it's too high. If it's too high, you have to loosen it. Always twang it first. That's close enough. If it's to the left, if it's too low, you have to tighten it. If you're not sure, loosen. Don't tighten it because you might break it. Next string, Easter bunnies is B. That looks dead on, but it says C, look. It says C. Now this is where you need to know the alphabet. A, B, C. C comes after B. That means I've gone too far. I've got to loosen it. Now B showing. There we go. Now see, each time I talk, the pointer goes all over the place because it's listening to my voice. The clip-on tuner doesn't hear my voice. It just feels the vibration in the neck of the guitar, which is why it's better. Right, let's try the D string. He stood by his get drunk. Let's try the A string. That says A, but it's got a little hashtag at the top. What does that mean? The little hashtag means it's too sharp, too high. So again, I've got to loosen it. Keep going if it's dead on the top. And finally the bottom string, thickest string, sixth string, E, Easter. Close enough for punk rock. That's how you use clip-on tuner or the phone tuner. So what you're gonna do if you haven't got a tuner, you haven't got the internet, I don't know how you're watching this video in that case, you haven't got a clip-on tuner, you haven't got a phone. Well, don't give up. I never had any of those when I was learning, when I was rubbish at tuning. But you can do it, I'm sure. There's two ways you can do it. Two ways. First way is if you know the E chord. I'll teach it to you again in another video. First finger goes on the third string, the G string, first fret. Second finger, second fret, fifth string. Third finger, second fret, fourth string, you can make an E chord and that should sound really nice and in tune like this. Now if one of the strings is out of tune, if you musical, unlike me, you'll be able to hear that here. Have a listen. Try it from the other way. And you probably you've heard that the fourth string is wrong. Genetic ring, try and tune it up. If you can't tune it with any e string, there's one more method, this is what I used to have to do. Get your thickest string, sensible sort of tension, not too loose, not too tight, and then you've got to find the fifth fret of that string, put your finger on it, and it should sound the same as the next string, the fifth string, without any fingers on. See what I mean? Do the same with the fifth string and the fourth string. Fifth fret, fifth fret uh, of the fifth string. It should sound the same as the open fourth string. Fifth fret on the fourth string should sound the same as the open third string. Just about. Close enough for punk rock. Now this is where 
it's it's annoying because the next two strings is the fourth fret. So if the fourth fret of the third string should sound the same as the open second. And then finally, fifth fret, second string should sound the same as thinnest string with no fingers on. Close enough for punk rock. Now, I'm sorry that was a bit of a boring video and it took two videos and it wasn't very exciting and it may have been really confusing. The most important thing is to enjoy yourself. If the tuning is so bad that you're not enjoying it and you can't follow my stupid instructions, uh, get in touch. We can maybe do it on a phone or something, ask your teacher and we can sort it out. If you accidentally break a string, we can maybe sort that out. I can maybe post you one or something. Again, ask your teacher. I think the other important thing to remember is when you tune in a string, pluck it first. Make sure you turn in the right peg. And do it gently. And if you're tightening it and tightening it and tightening it and it doesn't sound right, you're probably going the wrong way. Loosen it again. Right. Good luck. Don't break too many strings. And next video will be more exciting. Fingers crossed.